All right, do some more co Wetzel in this one. Um, so it's yeah, I think you'll pick up on this one quick, no matter what level you are. Um, if you're not a real strong finger picker yet, this is a really good one to practice with. Um, it's very uniform, very straightforward. It still might take you a minute, um, but it makes it easier because you're only real chords and you really just outline them are a G and a C at nine. But you never even fully really play them. So it's just going to be. This is essentially the whole thing, but we'll, and it repeats in some little embellishments, but we'll get into it. Um, starting in general G and the only real important part is your third fret your E and B string. You're gonna to wanna to keep those there the entire song. They never move. These two just dance around um, your index and middle finger. But these two fingers never move. Just leave them right where they are. Get them locked in, ready to go. But you're gonna start completely open up top. It's gonna to be your first little run. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick your low E and then with your Ring or your index finger, middle finger, ring finger. You're gonna pick your D G E or D G D G B. There we go. E D G B. And then the only thing you do next is throw your first finger down on your second fret. Same strum pattern. Third fret, same strum pattern. So what we have so far. And I will say now, if you're new to finger picking and you're having a little trouble putting this and this together, whatever you do, don't play the first one. Kind of in that fashion, play it on tempo so your fingers can keep up. And as you get faster, your hands will catch up to it. Just try and learn it at the same tempo. So if you're starting, just play it the speed that your fingers can keep up. And as you get it, your muscle memory will kick it up and you'll get up. So that leads to the next part. So if you're playing, this one is gonna be your A string second fret. Same strum better from there. So. Instead of picking your low E, you're gonna pick your root again, which is your A. There you go. It's, these ones never move. So. And then the last one, you're gonna hammer on. So it's. And the last one leads into strumming. So, and that's when you get your full C at nine, which is like a G shape, just down one string with both fingers. Uh, but, right there. So, when you hammer on, throw your um, index finger on your third string down. And really, you can play it without that one. It's just a little more full if you throw in your first finger. But to run that all back. Now let's pull off on the last one. Again, if you know the song, it's that's the same beat the entire song. So it's it's when you reset. So. That's it. Hope you get it quick. Number one thing, just if you can't get both hands to work that quick, finger picking, play it slow in the beginning, and as you get used to it, it'll get way easier to speed it up. Good luck.